Hooked up. What are those four principles? The first principle is that you cast the fly line the same way you do a spinning rod or a plug rod. There's no difference. The only, there is one difference I'll explain, but you cast them the same way. If you had a spinning lure and you laid it down here on the ground, you could not cast this spinning lure until you make it move. God will not let you cast a fly line, principle number one, until you move the end of the line. A lot of people teach the clock method. Clocks ain't got nothing to do with fly casting, they're for keeping time. <clears throat> they have nothing to do with this. If I get up here to not 11 o'clock and stop at 1 and the line was moving, that's all I got. But if I get the end of this line moving, as long as I'm moving the line, I can make a cast anytime I want, I'll make one over there. As long as you're moving this line, you can make a cast. I'll make one sideways here, up there, back here, over here, down here, anywhere I want. But God won't let you make a cast till you move your fly line in. What do most people do roll casting? They put the rod up here and they go around a circle and they throw a pile of garbage in the front of the line. What you want to do instead is you want the line to go out there so you stop going that way and the line goes out there. 